What's up guys? I'm here to talk to you today about the sweetest shooting pistol that I have ever owned personally. I promise you this thing is off the freaking chains and I want you to know about it if you are looking for uh, kind of a, a higher end more comp competition style pistol uh, that's still reliable. Uh, this I think fits the bill 100%. I've probably got, I don't know, I don't know how many you think tech guy couple thousand rounds through this or at least a thousand i don't know how much yeah, you've been shooting I think, yeah come out i mean i've got at least a thousand rounds through it it's the dan wesson dwx you guys have seen me using this on our range videos actually you might not have seen me using this on the range video because uh youtube suppressed those videos and they got like freaking ten thousand views a piece we don't know why that happened but yeah the dan wesson dwx this is a fairly new pistol out by dan wesson and it's kind of a combination of two different guns the cz 75 right blake the yeah. cz 75 grip so one thing that i have never really liked about the 1911 or the 2011 style pistols is the grip right it's just big fat square straight angle grip and it's like grabbing a two before so basically dan wesson took the grip from the cz 75 which is much more what's the word ergonomic it's much more ergonomic and then you basically have a 1911 uh, or 2011 style uh, trigger and also slide and barrel and all that good stuff right so to me it's the best of both worlds uh we're going to get out here and run this thing here in just a minute this is also the first pistol that i've ever had with an optic on it i'm still getting used to that it's a huge huge shift all right i'm having to retrain my brain uh to focus on the target and not have those iron sights in focus or not have this dot in focus so i'm really working through that i'm a little slower with the gun but yeah, anyways, over uh, over a thousand rounds in this, I'm gonna say we have had zero, literally zero malfunctions. I've cleaned the gun one time and uh, it has functioned flawlessly. It comes with a nice little case right here and two magazines. Oh, I got my book in here. Hey guys, we got these out for y'all too, uh, two volumes. These are collections of my writings over the last, uh, I guess, three and a half years or so. Uh, collection of my short writing so uh, if you guys want to check these out they're on the website right now it's called enough said volume one and two it comes with um, two magazines all right and then i ordered a bunch of other magazines these are i want to say this is just a standard cz p10f magazine is all this is so they're readily available easy to find and they're really cheap they're like i don't know i don't forget what i paid for them i don't know and a lot of y'all jokers on here are talking about, oh, I can't freaking afford this pistol, man. I can't afford a Dan Wesson DWX because it's like a $2,100 pistol. Well, look, man, quit being a broke loser, dude. Get out and freaking find some ways to hustle up some money. Sell chickens, man. Start selling eggs or chickens or selling goats or something. Quit being a broke loser. If you can't afford the pistol you want, get out and hustle up some stinking money, dude. Let's get out and run this thing a little bit. Hey guys, this episode is brought to you by our partners at First Form, all right? If you're fat and you're a piece of turd, your daggone guns are useless to you. You need to get in shape. First Form's gonna help you do that, all right? Check out the First Form app. Everything from workout programs to uh, your nutrition plans. Blake, you've been using the app, right? Yeah. It's an awesome app, guys. Uh, to their products, uh, whether it's whey protein, creatine, what's that other stuff you're using for carbs, chili? Ignition. Ignition. Chili's using ignition for carbs. Dextrose. Uh, look, man, it's a, it's a really great tool to add to your toolbox if you've decided to unfat yourself, okay? First Form's an awesome company with awesome people that support us here at 307 Project. Uh, one of the owners, Andy, is actually a, a good friend of mine. And uh, they've been supporting us for a long, long time. So they're just, they have awesome values, amazing people, and they actually care about the people who they serve, which is their customers. That's us, right? They're customers. So check them out at firstform.com. I'll attach a link here in the show notes or the description of this episode. Love you guys. 
sick of these stinking broke YouTubers. Y'all know why y'all are so broke? Because all you do is sit around and stink and watch YouTube. That's why you're broke, man. That's exactly right. My daggone headphones are out of uh, battery, Blake. Ch you change these out for me when we're done with this video. You change them, you broke loser. Right. Look, this stinking holster. It goes with his gear again. Alright, now with this red dot, you have to turn it on. It ain't like an iron sight. Let's run this thing a little bit, man. pistol just flat out runs it just flat out runs dude it shoots smooth it's nice in the hand it's nice and heavy the trigger press is awesome watch this trigger press Blake come on up here get in close and watch this trigger press I'm, I'm getting used to this dang safety too yeah I, I've never been a 1911 guy because of the grip I'm getting used to this safety too all right watch this just a little take up that's all the take up in the trigger uh, that's first stage, and it's just super, super crisp. There's the reset. There's the reset. Beautiful trigger. I mean, this joker just flat out runs. It's the best shooting pistol that I personally have ever owned. And it's pretty dang good looking. A lot of y'all don't like these red grips on this pistol. That's because you have poor taste in your turd. All right, we're going to get out and see how far we can shoot this thing accurately. It's got a big old bull barrel on it, too. It's got a big old match grade bull barrel. See, there's that safety. Look at that barrel. And it, it's not a, it's a bushingless barrel. That's what they call these, right, Blake? That's it. So it's kind of flared out on the end and it is matched with the pistol. So really, really sweet gun. Let's see how far we can shoot this thing accurately. So one thing about this, this uh, old Dan Wesson here that, has, that was hard is finding a holster for it. All right, I, uh, I searched and searched and searched and the only place I could find that had, you know, a holster that was uh, already formatted for the DWX was Red Hill Tactical. And I'm pretty unimpressed. <laughs> I ordered this holster and it literally took 30 days for them to ship the holster out. So if you did see the, the old videos, uh, you know I was running uh, the wrong holster for the gun. That's because I had to wait 30 days to get this holster in. And let me tell you what else. I ordered this holster for the Safari Land QLS clip right there specifically. Well, they sent this, this holster. Obviously, they didn't have this fork attached to it. They sent me this holster and the screws that were in the holster to attach this QLS system, the heads on the screws were, were so small that they would not, they just went right through these holes in the QLS right here, here, and here. I ordered it for a freaking QLS system. Give me screws with screw heads big enough to attach the dang thing. So guess what I had to do? I had to go rob screws off of other holsters and other things that I had to be able to attach this QLS system. What the crap, Blake? Have I you told ever, you. You ever seen anything like that? No, that's crap, man. Should have got 7X holster. Well, yeah. I got this slide milled out on this too. That's another thing about these, that DWX. It, uh, it doesn't, 
there is not an option to buy this pistol optics ready. So I had to send this to a gunsmith and he had to mill that slide out and that cost me 450 bucks to have that slide milled out. I don't freaking give a crap. Let's go see how far we can shoot this thing. All right, y'all know the drill here. I'm gonna go at 10 yard intervals, take a shot. If I hit, we'll move back 10 more yards. Two, three. By the way, my step is longer than a yard. You know what? why my step's longer than a yard? Cause, Cause you I'm ain't a, broke. Cause I'm a full size man. I'm a full size freaking man. I don't have iPro on, but I guess I'll just close my eyes when I pull the trigger. Don't look at this steel. Don't shoot steel without iPro, all right? Do as I say, not as I do. All right. Twenty. This red dot sight here is zeroed at fifteen yards. Thirty. All right, 40. You guys know, you've heard us talk about in the past how important a, a nice trigger is in a gun when you start shooting back at these distances. And uh, it makes a big difference, man. Fifty. Did you see that? Did you see that lead mash up, flop off like that? Uh-uh. Sixty. Right, I'm still, we're at 70 now. I'm still just going to hold center mass of that steel silhouette, all right? I, I know we probably had to get into some hold over or hold under back at this distance. I'm just going to hold center mass. This is 80 of my steps. This is 80 grown man steps, so we're actually probably at like 90 yards. Probably 150 but... yards. <laughs> That's 80. Here's 90. Didn't get it at 90. Could you see where those were going, Blake? Try it again. <sighs> I'm a good editor. All right, there's 90. Just keep going. Here's 100. So we broke our old record. Our old record was 80 yards with the Hellcat. Of course, we broke our own rules, too. <laughs> Probably like 120 yards right here, but 100 of my steps. Hi. Hi. There's 
There's a hundred. There's a hundred and ten. Hundred and ten yards. Here's a hundred and twenty. Hundred and twenty yard shot. There's a hundred and thirty. Hundred and thirty yard shot. There's 140 right here. That was a hit. Yep. 140. Now this is 150 shooting through the blueberry bushes. It's a hit at 150. Uh, 150 yard pistol shot uh, on a silhouette this big, and you think you can be like me? You really think you. 150 yard pistol shot on a freaking silhouette this big. Come on, dude! You better never compare me to Hickok 45 again, son. Hickok, give me a 150 yard pistol shot, boy. Here's 160. By the way, we're probably actually at like 200 yards right here, man steps. But we're gonna call it 160. I can barely even see that silhouette. That was close. Dang, high. All right, we'll call it at 160. I think I could hit it at one, I mean, we'll call it at 150. I think I could hit it at 160 if I played around a little bit. Both of them shots were high, but y'all know the deal. We ain't, painting, we ain't painting that stinking silhouette. I can barely see it from here. We ain't painting it. Yep, uh, 150 yard pistol shot with a Dan Wesson DWX. And uh, you know, man, that's just who the crap I am. I told y'all this gun would run. Look, y'all watching all these other heads about these guns, man, look. This is for real. This is for real. This is just a bunch of dang rednecks out here in the yard shooting. We don't edit this dang footage. It just is what it is. So, look, you know, you know what the deal is. Look, I'll show you this. I'm gonna let you watch this thing run just a few more times. Cause I know y'all like to see these shooting videos. I know y'all like this. I know y'all like to watch people shoot because you live in you live in town and you don't ever shoot yourself. How often do you shoot? Drop it in the comments. How often do you shoot? All right? I know you're a YouTuber. You just like to watch people shoot. So I'll, I'll, I'm gonna appease you there for a little bit. Look, look at this fast draw right here. Y'all see what I did? Did you see that? That's how you do a mag change. That's how you do a mag change. Watch it again.
That's how you do a mag change. I told you the gun runs. Got that big old nice, look at that. Got that big old nice mag release button right there. Look, if you want to get you a daggone pistol that your average man can shoot at 150 yards with, look, I'm just an average guy. I'm just a gun. Get you a damn Wesson DWX. I'm gonna tell you, this is a sweet freaking gun right here, man. Y'all bunch of broke jokers. Enough said. <laughs>